Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind The Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we've got another electronics video for you guys. And this is Mega 360 versus Livescope. There's a bunch of you guys out there that are looking to make an upgrade for this upcoming fishing season, and you wanna know which piece of technology is gonna help benefit you the most. We're gonna go over that right here. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna introduce you to the Humminbird Mega 360. This is a piece of technology that I've been using for years, and I really do appreciate the assistance that it gives me on the water. The Mega 360 just helps paint a more complete picture of what's going on down there beneath the water, something that you cannot see. So the amount of information that the 360 has given me has helped me to become way more successful on the water. It has helped me to have a better understanding of what's going on down there. And even though I may know that there's a brush pile there, I may know that there's a rock pile, or I may even be able to find a grass line with my down imaging or my 2D even, you know, you're able to actually formulate a complete 360 degree image of what's going on down there. And with that information, as you move around throughout an area, you can kind of piece together all the pieces of the puzzle and now you have a more complete understanding of why the fish are where they are. If they're not in this particular area, you may know where they have moved off to because you know how that whole complete picture is placed. And finding those creek channels, finding those spots on a spot, that's kind of what the Mega360 is all about. And I would consider the Mega360 a search tool but in my opinion, this is a search tool that you're not really utilizing until you've already kind of dedicated yourself to an area. You want to formulate a better understanding of why those fish are there. So when you start to put together, okay, I caught them on this piece of structure, but there's this going on over here. There's a creek channel that these fish are maybe using to navigate back into their spawning areas or back out of their spawning areas. Like you can put together some really valuable information and without Mega360, it's going to take you a lot more time to put all of this together. Now, you can use your, your side imaging to get some of this information. And for me, it's more of how my brain works that the Mega360 just responds to much better than the side imaging. You know, when I'm scanning around on my side imaging, I'll see a brush pile, I'll see an area of interest, but I just am not able to put all of that information together. I'll see a brush pile, I'll go another 20 or 30 feet, I might see another point of interest, and I'm making waypoints, but when I go back and I revisit this area, you know, I, I really don't have a good understanding of how it's set up. So what I like to do is if I mark several areas of interest, with my side imaging, I will go back to that area and I'll troll and motor around. So when I say that Mega360 is a search tool, yes, it is a search tool, but it's a search tool that you are using when you're on your trolling motor. Um, unlike the side imaging is typically something that you're using when you're on your big motor. Once you have kind of figured out that there is an area that you want to further investigate or maybe even further fish, then Put that 360 in the water and then start to fish around. Find some structure, find some cover. If the only thing that you have is the Mega 360, then you're going to be able to put yourself in some pretty productive areas. You know, and I think that when people talk about the Mega 360, we're always talking about looking for cover, looking for structure. But I do want you guys to understand you're going to be able to see fish on this transducer as well. If you've never used the Mega 360 before, Understand, you're gonna be able to see fish, but when we're looking at Mega360, we're gonna see it from an overhead bird's eye point of view. We're gonna be looking from the top down. So when we see a fish, they're gonna kind of look like that grain of rice that you would expect it to, to look like on your side imaging. It's gonna look very similar to that, but it's gonna be looking down from the top to the bottom. So you don't know where those fish are at in the water column. So you know, in order to target those fish more effectively, you're gonna either have to be in some pretty shallow water 
or maybe you have been able to put together some pieces of the puzzle up until that point of time. You know, you might see fish coming up underneath your boat and you're able to see what, you know, what depth they're in and you can use that information to target fish that are 20 or 30, 40 feet away from you that you're seeing on Mega360. Doesn't always mean they're gonna be in that same water Ooh. column, but that is Got a piece of information that guys. you can kind of use to your advantage. You're just gonna have to use the information that is at your disposal. So, you know, Mega360 for me is something that I would highly recommend that you guys all go out and purchase and put on your boat. And I really do feel like it's going to help you become a more efficient angler. It's going to help you determine if you should spend more time in an area or not, but it's not going to help you target individual fish. You can, right? But it's not the most effective tool for that. If you want to target individual fish, you know, I think that the forward facing sonar is going to be a little bit more suited to do that. And we'll kind of go into the live scope stuff here in a minute, but I just want you to understand if you've got the Mega 360, you're going to be able to find those grass lines very easily. You're going to be able to scan that thing around. It's going to be shooting 360 degrees. Remember, this is a side imaging transducer that spins around in a circle. So if you guys are used to seeing side imaging, this is going to be a very very easy technology to understand and you're going to be able to see when there's a brush pile you're going to be able to see the rock piles you're going to be able to see the bottom composition changes when you go from soft to hard bottoms you know these are the things that are really going to stick out to you and they are going to be the little pieces of information the spot on a spot that we are trying to develop you know so you may be able to see look i've got the contour information all laid out right here. I see this nice spawning flat that's not very far from this creek channel and they have deep water access. All of those stars may be aligning, but if you don't have the information that the Mega 360 will give you, you're going to be a, you're going to be spending a lot more time trying to actually figure out exactly what's going on in that area. So, if you want to save some time trying to find that spot on a spot, the Mega 360 is definitely the deal. And like I said, you can target individual fish on this thing. It is just not the best tool to do so. I have caught several fish on Mega 360 and that was the only piece of sonar technology that I saw these fish on on my boat. But I was also just kind of having to cycle through baits to see which part of the water column that I should be targeting. So I just want to go over this. We're going to be able to find structure. We're going to be able to find uh, bottom composition information. We're going to be able to kind of uh, piece together our contour information alongside of our Mega 360 and you can kind of use your imagination. For those of you like me who don't have the best sense of imagination, the Mega 360 is great for that. It is painting me an entire picture of what is going on beneath the boat. And I may be able to feel those rocks and I know I'm in a rocky area, but I just don't have an, an image in my mind when I'm fishing that. You know, I'm basically just imagining one rock at a time. But if I have that Mega 360 up on the screen, it's going to help me to be more focused on my bait presentation. I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing and it's going to keep me grounded. You know, I've just noticed that my attention span isn't very long. And I'm sure a lot of you fishermen are the same way, especially guys that are maybe more used to power fishing. The Mega 360 showing you exactly what's going on down there. If you know you're bringing your your bait right by a brush pile, you know, and you know how all this stuff sets up, you're gonna be more focused on what your bait's doing and you're not gonna be so worried about whether you're getting a bite or not and moving on to another spot. So that is one of the major things that the Mega 360 has done for me. It's helped me to be a little bit more patient. It's helped me to stay in an area and kind of milk that area a little bit longer than I would have otherwise. And I'm very grateful for that Mega 360 over the last couple years and I really don't see that piece of technology going anywhere. I would highly recommend it. If you guys are looking into getting that Mega 360, I'm going to give it two thumbs up. But we're going to go into live scope and we're going to talk about that because I really do feel like these two pieces of technology can work really well together. I think that 
you know, if you are in a position where you're trying to make one upgrade and, you know, maybe that's what you're able to afford right now. You're either going to do 360 or you're going to do live scope. I want you guys to pay attention to the things that I just mentioned. I want you guys to highlight the things that I just talked about that the Mega 360 was good for. If those are the things that you're looking for, the Mega 360 may be a great fit for you. But I think that over the years, over the last year or two, uh, as I've been using forward-facing technology such as LiveScope or Active Target or even Mega Live, I've had experience with all of them. I feel like the forward-facing sonar technology is going to be a little bit more useful if you were to have to pick one or the other. And I think that you can get a lot of the same information from your LiveScope transducer as you can with your Mega 360. You know, one thing that I would want to mention is that the transducer beam on the forward-facing transducers are anywhere from 18 to 20 degrees wide. So we're talking a very narrow beam. If you're shooting out 30 to 40 feet, you're maybe only looking at a couple of feet at a time. So just understand, if, if you're like me and you have an issue kind of putting all the pieces of the puzzle together, you're only able to see, you know, small increments at a time you're able to see that brush pile you're able to see that rock pile and you can find those grass lines but just understand you're having to search around to find it you know whether you have that mounted to your trolling motor or whether you have it mounted to something like the sniper marine pole like I have on my kayak you're only able to see small amounts of information at a time now they do offer all three brands do offer whatever they want to call it perspective mode scout mode right they have a landscape mode where it's going to give you that bird's eye view so it's it's going to offer you something very similar to mega 360 except for it's in real time so there is an advantage there but there is a downside. We're only able to use this in, in shallow water, right? In Mega 360, you're going to be able to use this. You can bump down the, the frequency and use this in like 30 foot of water. That's probably about your max. Um, but the live scope technology, you're looking at in that landscape mode, that perspective mode, you're looking at about 15 foot, maybe 20 foot of water is kind of your, your top end of use there. So that is fairly limited to shallow water. But you're going to be able to do a lot of the same things. I've seen some really dialed in images on perspective mode and um, you're going to be able to get a lot of the same information that you would on Mega 360. Uh, you're not getting that 360 degree full rotation, but you know that 20 degree wide beam, uh, that beam is 135 degrees tall. So when you flip that thing over on its side, you're able to pan around and see 135 degrees at a time. So not a huge inconvenience compared to the 360, but understand there is a limitation on how deep of water you can use it in. So that is something to take into consideration. Now, when we talk about forward or down modes, you know, we're talking that narrow beam. We're able to shoot way far out there, out past 100 feet, depending on what transducer you're using, and we're able to get some really good information. We're going to be able to see a stick up. We're going to be able to see a lay down. We're going to be able to see a grass line. But the 360, the reason why it becomes a little bit more of a search tool, in my opinion, is because it's constantly it's constantly pinging, it's constantly rotating, and it's constantly giving us information all the way around the boat. If you use that live scope transducer, you're going to have to swing it around with your pedal or your pole, whatever you got. And um, you're going to be able to develop a lot of that same information, but you're just going to have to put those pieces of the puzzle together in your own head. Maybe use waypoints to help you figure out what is where. And you can put together most of the same information that you can on your Mega 360. It's not going to give you quite the detail and the target separation that you're going to get on your Mega 360. But again, the Mega 360 is giving you history where your live scope transducer is telling you what's going on at that very moment in time. And we talked about targeting individual fish with the Mega 360. We talked about it being possible. We talked about catching fish on the Mega 360 and that is definitely possible but I'm telling you if you want to target individual fish live scope is the deal this is going to give you real-time information on where that fish is at in the water column how it's reacting to your bait 
And those types of fish are going to be very hard to catch on the Mega 360, and that's why the Live Scope is a much better tool for targeting individual fish, suspended fish, and even big groups of fish as well. The range on these transducers is getting better and better. The more that these fish are hearing the forward-facing transducer pinging, the more that they are going to be conditioned to it. They're going to stay away from it, and when they hear it, they're going to get away from the boat. And we've already started to see that happen. So, you know, the answer to that is extended range. And if you're able to target these fish from 60, 70, 80 feet away, then you're much more likely to get them to react because they haven't been put on high alert. They're not really feeling that transducer ping. They're not feeling that trolling motor or just feeling the profile of your boat. The range is something that is going to allow us to put a lot more fish in the boat. So if you guys are looking at whether you should get the original live scope technology or go with the live scope plus that is definitely one of the biggest selling points that extended range and as time goes on that's going to become more and more important and the mega 360 is just not going to give us that type of precise range that we're looking for in targeting individual fish you know we're going to be able to see what's going on 100 feet away from the boat no problem. You're going to be able to see how that structure is set up and you may even be able to see some fish that far away from the boat, but you're just not going to be able to be as precise as you are. When you put that little 20 degree beam on that fish, you know that your bait is within a foot or two of where that fish is at. There is some room for error there, but the more and the more that you use this forward facing technology, the more precise you're going to be able to get with your bait presentations. And one thing I would like to mention is the ease of operation. The Mega 360 is going to be way more easy to dial in, if you will. There's only a couple settings that you really need to worry about. Basically, that thing is just going to do what it does. You can adjust the speed and the sensitivity, but you really don't need to do much of anything in order for it to really paint that image that I'm talking about. As far as live scope goes, kind of the same deal. You know, it is going to be easy to use right out of the box, but if you really want to dial it in, there's a few more settings to get into. There's a bunch of different adjustments you can make. And so I would say the Mega 360 is probably a little bit easier to use, but the live scope isn't anything that I think you really need to steer clear of if you're not super electronic savvy. You can keep it pretty basic and still get some really good information. Guys, I just want to reiterate, if you have the means to put the 360 and the live scope on your boat, do it. That is the most deadly combo that there is out there. And you see a lot of guys that are out there competing at a high level that are using both transducers and they're just able to be more effective in doing so. So if that's you, go ahead and make that upgrade, get the 360 and get the live scope and use that 360 to determine where you should point your live scope transducer and figure out where that fish is at in the water column. You're going to be able to see that brush pile. You're going to be able to see the lay down, the rock pile, whatever that is, that bottom composition change, and you're going to be able to see the fish on it. But if you want to be able to entice a bite, that forward facing sonar is definitely going to be the most effective tool on your boat to do so. So guys, if you are looking to make an upgrade, and you're trying to decide, do I go with the 360 or do I go with the live scope? I'm telling you right now, go with the live scope and, and it doesn't have to be Garmin. Active Target, Active Target 2, and Mega Live are all really great options as well. So definitely check those out. When it comes to making a decision which forward facing technology you go with, I would definitely consider basing that off of what type of graphs you're currently running. All of the brands that offer this as an option have some really good options in order to run forward facing technology with likely the graphs that you already have. So if that is the case, if you have something that is capable of running one or the other, I would definitely look at saving a few bucks and going that route and having that one boat network, if you will. But if you are basically starting from scratch and you're wanting to go with the best forward facing transducer out there, I would say it'd be really hard to ignore 
the Garmin LifeScope Plus system. Active Target 2 has some really great returns as well and probably just in a very close second. And honestly, Mega Live is going to give you some great information as well. It might not be quite as dialed in, but as you can see, some of those pros out there have been able to put it to use and win some really big checks already this year. Guys, this is the time of year that this piece of technology is going to start putting a bunch of fish in the boat and putting some plaques on somebody's wall. So if you guys are wanting to compete, this is a great piece of technology to give you the amount of information that it's going to take to compete at that level. Or maybe you're just looking to be more effective for the limited amount of time that you have on the water. Either way, if I could only pick one, I would go with the live scope. Guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.